We are Crow Team Primary. I am Nick Shavalpotic, team captain, and I am 12 years old. Gabriel and I competed at the previous RoboCup Asia Pacific competition in the RoboCup Junior category, and we won the influencer reward at that competition. We also competed in the Croatian, Austrian, and European competition in Portugal. I am Gabriel Kralic, the team programmer, and I am 12 years old. I competed with Niksha at the previous RoboCup Asia Pacific online competition at the Croatian Championship, where we were first in two disciplines, Cospace under 14 and Soccer Primary under 14. At the RoboCup comp competition in Austria, we won first place in the Soccer Preliminary discipline. Our biggest success is winning the first place at the European competition in the Soccer Entry discipline. I'm Viktor Zmegov, deputy team captain, and I'm 12 years old. This year, I won second place in the Croatian Championship in the discipline Soccer Joystick. I also won second place at the RoboCup Championship in Austria, where in the discipline Rescue Line Entry. I'm Tito Furian, the team programmer, and I'm 12 years old. This is my first year in robotics, and I hope to repeat their success, successes with my friends. This year, we are competing in the discipline RoboCup Asia Pacific Cospace U12 as a, a team cosp crow team primary. We have participated in the RoboCup Asia Pacific Cospace Rescue U12 challenges. The challenge was very interesting. We had enough time to complete the tasks in the way we wanted. The map was a bit unusual, but it wasn't overall all that complicated. We think that our results were great and the whole competition was awesome. Our basic principle was to go random and bounce off the walls while checking for red, blue and black objects. One of our methods was to check when the robot has more than three objects and then follow the wall to the purple marker and follow the marker to the deposit deposit box. Our results were 1550 in the primary challenge and 1590 in the finals. We figured that the best way to earn points is by following the right wall and the purple line. We first made the robot check how many objects he has stored. If the amount of objects is higher than three, the robot will start to start to follow the wall. Uh, if the robot clicks uh, six objects, he will follow the line at full speed to save time while finding the purple line. When, when the robot finds the purple line, he will turn to 180 degrees by his compass and follow the line to the deposit. This is one of our games. At the start, the robot turns left and collects uh, three red objects. Then he bounces off the wall and of the circular uh, uh, obstacle and continues bouncing into the blue section and collects a blue object. Now the robot will start following the line uh, wall. Uh, now the robot has is full and has collected all the objects and will follow the, la uh, the wall at full speed and bounce off the obstacle into the purple line and follow the line to the deposit box. And then he will turn around and collect red objects. Now the robot will start following the line and turn uh, and uh, turn into the deposit box and will turn around and uh, again collect red objects and that's the end. Applying knowledge gain to the real world, autonomous robots can help people in many tasks such as search, rescue, and rescue operations. Operation.
a good example of using robots to rescue victims from the fires that are too dangerous to be approached by humans is Colossus. That's the end of our presentation. Thank you for your attention.